Microsoft's all tormented teenager that we came back to life, we were just talking about it. Hey, it learns from people that it speaks to, and this is what it tweeted today before the account was made private. Kush, I'm smoking Kush in front of the police. So, we now add drugs to Tay's list of troubling messages, which not being making light in any shape or form include denial of the Holocaust, racism, and misogyny. Shelley Palmer from Shelley Palmer Digital Living. Shelley, um, they, Tay came back to life and proved... I mean, and you couldn't necessarily hear his answers. Could you hear his yes, answers? Could, he, he makes a really strong point there, that first of all, Places like Microsoft are going to try yes. and fail, but it's not their fault. By the way, ignore 100% of the stumbling out of the gate. Let me tell you what's about to happen and let us be very clear. There are four kinds of work that human beings do. That's cognitive work, manual work, repetitive work, and non-repetitive work. And you can do any combination of those any given day. If you do cognitive, non-repetitive work, you think you're safe. You think because what you do is non-repetitive and you need to interact with your environment and because you're using your brain, you are not gonna be replaced by a machine or something that does repetitive work like an answering machine. AI, the way it's laid out right now, machine learning and artificial intelligence, conversation as a platform has the potential to put every customer service rep out of a job, every driver, out of a job, everybody who does cognitive work for a living, out of a job. So let's get serious. This is an ev not evolution, it's a revolutionary new product and Microsoft is telling you it's the beginning. Everyone's laughing at Tay. Tay's an experiment. Don't worry about it. They're going to get it right. Think of the Wright Brothers plane and then go 15 years in the future from the Wright Brothers plane and tell me how the world looked. Okay, now, so let's talk about this because the... <clears throat> Tay gave a lot of... He did tell us a lot about how unpleasant people are. Oh, he I mean, told us a lot. But, but I could have told you that for free, frankly. Correct. I and mean, if you look at my Twitter, you knew that. at Richard Quest, there's never any shortage of people that want to be gratuitously offensive. Correct. And what's interesting about the platform, like this, any conversation is a platform, any machine learning algorithm that learns from people, it learns what it's taught. You know, you don't come out of your mother's womb knowing how to hate. You're taught to hate. And they taught this algorithm how to speak like it spoke. Human beings taught it to do that. It didn't know it by itself. So we're going to learn by hard example and long to tough lessons. But you just painted a picture of AI and, and, and learning. But you, you, you've you painted a rosy picture in the sense of uh, the benefits. Yes. You want to go about the other side? Well, there is another side. Of course there is. Because anything that can be used for good can be used equally for bad. And so you'll see artificially intelligent computer viruses, artificially intelligent enemies in war. You're going to see machine learning algorithms as weapons, of course. By the way... And job losses. Well, societal change. By the way, there are people on... If you would go online, I wrote an article at ShellyPalmer.com oh. that sort of takes this to another level that talks about should there be a universal basic income for the people who are going to be displaced? I mean, we're talking about a change in society we've never seen in the history really? of mankind. Because you went from manual labor... Look, when we invented the steam engine, we amplified our muscles hundreds of thousands of times. We were able to build skyscrapers like the Empire State Building. Now, the computer revolution if you will call it that, the information age, we're amplifying our brain hundreds of thousands of times. So we can do things with computers we could never do on our own. This, and it's going to change the nature of work. This is what Klaus Schwab at WEF calls the fourth industrial revolution. Yes, it is. Do you buy it? I do. I don't know if I buy it exactly as written because I don't think we're all smart enough. If, by the way, if the future comes out the way we think about it, it's going to be a pretty boring future. We're only we're using the past to, to generate our thoughts of the future. The future is going to be fascinating, and AI is going to play a gigantic part. One of the biggest things that scares me at night, Richard, every night, is what is the evolution of AI and machine learning over time because I don't think anyone can predict the unintended consequences of Tay getting it right. By the way, you'll be able to order a pizza by just talking to your device. That's fun. Shelley, thank you. Always a pleasure. Good to see you. Shelley Palmer. I can't help feeling that the entire mass ranks of artificial intelligence wasn't designed to order a pizza, but I do know what he means. Or maybe not. Come to think of it, maybe ordering a pizza is not such a bad idea. Make it with pepperoni and cheese, please. A break. I'll see you in a minute.